What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton. Right now I'm currently out in Los Angeles, California on a business trip doing some work. But as promised, today is Wednesday. So I'm bringing you guys a brand new tutorial like I said I would every single Wednesday. So be sure that if you like this tutorial at the end of the video, click that subscribe button so you never miss another one. And let's just jump straight into it. Today's tutorial is going to be this cool zoom blur transition. I don't know exactly what to call it, probably just the cool zoom. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like real fast. We're not going to waste any time. So right there, let's watch that again between these two clips. So now that you see the effect, let me show y'all how to create it from scratch. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go into your effects tab. You're going to type in transform. Oh, I typed that wrong. I cannot spell today transform we're going to bring that onto the clip what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of the clip we're going to go back about four or five frames so one two three four five then we're going to go we're going to turn this off where it says use composition shutter angle right there we're going to deselect this we're going to change the shutter angle to 180 degrees we're going to add two keyframes, one right here on scale and one on the position. We're going to go back up four keyframes. We're going to zoom the scale all the way in to 300. Then we're going to move the um, position. We're going to move the clip over to where we want it to zoom into. I want it to zoom in onto the potato that we're eating. So I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this down. Get that where I like it. Keep going, keep going. Just move that to where you want in the frame. That looks pretty good. Move it over just a little bit more. Oh, wrong way. All right, so once you've done that, you're gonna drag your keyframes all the way to the last frame. And then that's pretty much it. You have created a cool zoom transition. Let's watch what we have created. y'all see that y'all did it we lit yeah. Let me give y'all a round of applause all right so this effect actually works best when it's planned so as you can see i had a wide shot of the woman bringing in the potato as she put it on the table and then i got a close-up shot of the potato that i could zoom into so it really works best if it's a planned shot going from a wide shot into a close-up or something like that but just get creative with it so yeah guys as always if you like the content be sure to click that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up Drop a comment, share the video with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.